What's up, all you hooligans? Don't forget to pound rock on, baby, in the comments section. Go visit us over on Roku TV, Fire TV, the whole nine yards. Also, good news, good news. Brotherhood and Betrayal is now available on hardcover, so get on over that. Check out the description box. You just see the link. Go over there and get you a copy. War on Bikers. Man, has that been going on forever. But I wanted to deep dive, kind of, into the why. And I have to say, it's about jealousy, envy, especially envy. Because when you see somebody else being able to live life to the fullest, people can't stand that because they live their life in a box that's why they get envy of bikers because we have all the fun when did it all start i'd have to say world war ii after they came home and then of course you got hollister people back then had a different way of thinking if you go ahead in time or back in time before World War II, it was a lot different motorcycle scene. Hell, you had people dressing up in suits and ties to ride a motorcycle. It was a big affair because mostly rich people owned the bikes back then. Kind of like now. No, I'm just kidding. So after World War II and all the stuff that they seen overseas, they wanted to blow off some steam. So they got wild and crazy. Something that the culture at home didn't understand. They always believed you had to be the upstanding citizen. So it had to be culture shock when they seen that thing from Time Magazine saying, oh my God, oh my God, look at all the hooligans. Society's going to break down with these kind of people. Media boy laid it on thick, didn't they? And with the change in culture from the 50s into the 60s was the big one. That's when that counter-revolution and all that crazy hippie stuff came about. Not to mention the Vietnam War. And those that grew up in them stringent type of environments gave the big F you to society. And again, especially the guys returned from Vietnam. They grew their hair longer, they were scuffy, they had beards, you know, and they partied like a bunch of animals, man. Man, did they know how to party back then. But when you sit back and you look at it as in terms of the air, you can see not only the culture shock, but the the jealousy of defending their type of life. Because let's be honest, man, you have bikers that are able to live the kind of life they have because they work hard, but also on the flip side, able to go out there and enjoy life without any restraints. So what happens? The cops are looking for a boogeyman. And that boogeyman they found in bikers, especially in the 60s. They made them public enemy number one. They're doing nothing but bad, bad, bad. Because the way they were living counterdicted what society thought should be. And that's continued all the way to modern times. For example, cops envy the hell out of bikers. 
Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be trying to dress up like them, especially these clubs. That's one thing I never understood. You're going to dress up like them, but you're going to bust them. So which one is it? You're confused. You're bipolar or something like that right now. So remember that thought. And cops usually are not able to let loose like a biker. So that pisses them off. So it fuels and fuels and fuels in the stuff like profiling, harassment. Some of the guys from 60s, 70s, 80s up into the 90s, man, it was not cool to be a biker. Unlike today, it's cool. Then, not so cool. They bust your ass just going down the street. They throw you in the dirt, kick you around, all the good stuff that comes around with profiling. And I can bet that every time that they would pull a biker over, every time they roughed one up, they were letting their anger out because they couldn't be that biker. They had to live to a different standard. They were taught, well, I got to do this, this, and this in order to be a good member of society. But deep down inside of them, they were pissed because they couldn't be that biker. So the war on bikers go way back, way back. And it's interesting to see how it progressed through time. One of the reasons why I get upset some of the time with new guys is because they're going, they're living in a time where it was cool. But the older guys are the ones who had to pave that way with time served in the joint, the blood spilled. They had to do it. Just keep that in mind while you're out there enjoying that ride. While you're out there, how can I say it? Enjoying the benefits of being cool. There was a lot of people before you that had to pay for that. Now, is it coming full circle as far as clubs, people not liking them? You know what? No, I don't think so. Because it's always been that way. Citizens, not only cops, but you have a lot of citizens that just long to be able to live the life that a lot of hardcore bikers get to live. There's no fucks given. They want something like that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. A lot of good different uh, micro takes, I'm calling it here. Just discussing issues off the top of my head, kind of break up the grind on the channel. But it's a very interesting debate. It, it really is. When do you think it all started? What time period? Do you think it was Hollister and forward or before? It's a debate. Have fun with it. Again, don't forget Roku. Put our uh, Insane Throttle TV app on there as far and Fire TV. And get the hardcover of Brother and Trail and get over there to Official Insane Throttle. Lots of good fun over on that one. I, I really like Instagram because it's fun. You know, you to put up serious stuff, funny stuff, it, it, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good one.